Hi, my name is Lon and I'm a product manager at Windows Live. Today, I'm really excited to give you a quick peek at the new version of Windows Live Messenger and go through not only how we've continued to innovate on Messenger, but also how we are connecting it with the rest of Windows Live. The first thing you'll notice when you look at Messenger and the new main window is that there is a completely new look and feel. We've redesigned the entire interface focused on making the experience simple and clean. We've reduced duplicated functionality, moved menus and buttons to places that our users prefer them, and we're focused on reducing wasted space. Let me quickly change my status to busy and update my personal status message so no one bothers me while we demo. Starting at the top of the main window, you can see how we've increased personalization. For years, you've been able to set a custom display photo for how you appear to your friends. Now, you can even record an animated video. Although, for today, I'll just use this guy. A new area that you can also customize is what we call your scene. The scene shows up as the background to your display photo. And the same way your contacts see your display photo during a conversation, now they'll see your scene in the conversation window. Another thing that I'll note is that you can take any photo, simply drag it into the scene area, and it'll be updated. It's as simple as that. The next thing you should notice is the contact list. We've added a concept called favorites. You can really think about this as your speed dial for instant messaging. We found that most people spend the majority of their time chatting with only a handful of people, so we make it easy to keep these contacts at the top and to even see them with a larger user tile. Of course, you can customize this. Here, I'm going to make my favorites as big as possible, as well as the rest of people on my contact list. That's how that looks. Maybe I'll switch it back. Let me go with a smaller tile here, and just a little square for their presence. Just below your favorites, you can see groups. Groups are a persistent way to chat with a set of people that you constantly interact with. It could be a study group, book club, or in my case, my poker buds. Everyone shows up on the left hand side. Let me just say a quick hi to everyone. It's important to know that groups just aren't in Messenger. Your group also has a website on Windows Live, photos, a SkyDrive, and a shared calendar, and everything else that a customer on Windows Live has, except that your group's data is instantly shared and accessible to the entire group. Let's continue to move down the main window. Actually, I think I forgot to mention that you can now include hyperlinks in your personal status.